I think she chose right by choosing Blaine because, well, first of all, that wouldn't have lasted and she'd be much happier at the end of the road. If she would have chosen Ducky, she'd be living in a trailer park right now with a guy who didn't care about working. But my wife, like every other woman I know who watched the film, always chooses Ducky because he was more romantic. I don't think Ducky was necessarily more romantic. It was just that Blake was such an asshole to her through the film. I mean, he, you know, they go on their first date and he like asks her if he wants to change. The only place he takes her is to his friend's party. The bedroom upstairs. And the bed. Yeah, takes her to the bedroom upstairs. Oh, I just want to talk. <laughs> and uh, then he sleeps with her and then breaks up with her. Like. At least, I mean, I'm not saying she necessarily would have chosen Ducky, but at least he had some devotion there, like... Yes, but in reality, Ducky today would still be moaning and pining over her, and she would treat him as shit because he would just, like, what's that line in the movie? How do you, from Ferris Bueller's, how do you respect someone that doesn't respect themselves? What's the line again? For Cameron. Oh, it was something like, um, could believe in someone who doesn't believe in them. Or something like that. We're now halfway through Pretty in Pink. Christine just stepped out for a minute to take the pooch for a pee outside, so I'm gonna give you my points why Blaine isn't such a bad guy. Okay, so Blaine, this guy is pretty naive, you know, he doesn't have a lot of opinions, you know, relies on his best friend's thoughts a lot. But he brings Andy, he risks his reputation by bringing this person that's not in their crowd to a party. That's kind of cool, right? I mean, that's that's a brave guy. Once again, what are you saying about Blaine? I said, on this date, Blaine just makes zero effort. I mean, he's just totally coasting on being rich and cool and popular. But he... He, he had no plan for this date at all. Like, he had no game. Yeah, but you know what? He did take her to his friend's house, realized that was a stupid idea, and went into uncharted territory by going to her place. That's ballsy. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Blaine actually goes into foreign territory to hang out with this girl. Let's give Blaine some credit here. That's, that means... But he had, he had nothing else in his... He had no backup plan, you know? He, he's a spontaneous guy. You'd think he'd think of a restaurant, you know, to take her to, or... They're in high school. <laughs> well, a cafe, where... The soda shop. I don't know. What does this town have? I don't know. I don't think you give Blaine enough credit. Hmm. I mean, look at him. Look at those sincere puppy dog eyes. Oh, see? Asked her to the prom. I know the prom's kind of lame, so if you don't want to go, it's really not Right there. Right there. Blaine is lame. Blaine is not lame. Blaine is trying. Blaine Ducky. Is not, Blaine is not trying. Ducky is Blaine, lame. Blaine could not be trying less. <laughs> I mean, the most effort he has put into this relationship is this computer trick, which admittedly was for the day, it was pretty pretty elaborate, but other than that, Blaine is just going to where the wind takes him. We've got no plan. Accepted. Thanks for watching our debate on Blaine or Ducky. Uh, please let me know what you, who you would have picked. Between my wife and I, the winner of this debate will be me because I made the video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hey, wait.